Hey, Nerdy Sports Fan here. We're into Week 12 NFL action, and this is my favorite game of the week. We've got the Green Bay Packers going to visit the San Francisco 49ers. Um, this is a game, okay? Um, the NFC is the power division right now, and <clears throat> these are two of the best teams in the NFC. The Packers at 8-2 with a renewed Aaron Rodgers, with a very good running game behind him for once, and a very good defense on the opposite side of the field for once. Um, best team they've had in years against San Francisco. The best defense in the league with an offense that's been dealing with injuries for so long that now that everybody's healthy, or more people are healthy than usual, um, they seem to be very deep. They have key injuries that they're dealing with, though. Notably here, Emmanuel Sanders. Um, but also, you got to keep an eye on Debo Samuel, uh, Matt Breda, and uh, George Kittle's been out. Um, leave he returned last week, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Robbie Gold. Uh, out of all of the guys that have had any sort of injury... Robbie Gold right now is the one that they miss the most. Kicking woes really hurt them in their only loss. That's going to continue. Um, I expect the Packers to win. I expect the Packers to win uh, because I think their coach and their quarterback are very smart. And they know how to watch highlights of um, what Seattle and what Arizona have been able to do to San Francisco, so they will be able to put a formula together to put points on the board against this defense. And their defense works very, very well against the pass. Uh, Jimmy G has had issues in recent weeks because of his more primary targets being hurt. Kittle um, and Emmanuel Sanders, when they were out, together, it, it was very, very obvious that man, does Jimmy G need receiving targets in order to be effective. Um, so that injury related weakness that they've developed combined with the Packers defense just being so very good at creating pressure and turnovers in the passing game, it, it's going to be the Packers game to lose. Um, Sam Fran's got the better record right now. They've got, you know, a solid running game. Packers running game isn't exactly bad. And I, I just think their offense is led by the right people to be able to figure something out for this San Francisco defense. Um, they'll be able to learn from Arizona without making the same kinds of mistakes that Arizona's making because they're just young. Um, Aaron Rodgers, you know, definitely cures a lot of problems on offense. Um, he's very, very smart. He's intensely experienced and overall probably the most talented quarterback in the league. He'll figure out this defense. Just give him time. Even if they come up with a new wrinkle that, you know, the Packers aren't prepared for at the beginning of the game, they will be by the end of it. And San Francisco's offense won't be able to do enough against the Packers' defense to really hold off when Aaron Rodgers gets rolling against them. Uh, they're not going to be able to keep up so I expect San Francisco to have an early lead, and I expect the Packers to pick up the pace in the second half and come away with a win. Um, so, obviously I would bet the Packers, uh, because San Francisco is a three-point favorite right now. Um, fantasy football-wise, uh, this is very much an Aaron Rodgers game, okay? Um, Aaron Jones is great, but... Against this team, Aaron Rodgers is going to be the person that needs to step up and take over. And I think he will. I think he will. Um, I think 
the Packers defense, you desperately need to start in this game. They're going to get turnovers. They might even score. But I think they're going to be able to turn Jimmy G over because their running game has not been effective as much as it was earlier in the season. They've had to throw the ball more. And that formula laid out by Arizona and by Seattle is still effective. And good teams are going to keep on using it. So the Packers are going to be able to use it better than Arizona did because they've got Aaron Rodgers. That's it. Um, you need to start Kittle if he's healthy. But really, just keep an eye on that. I, I mean, uh, same with Emmanuel Sanders. These guys are great players, and the offense is great with them. So, all the way up until game time, keep an eye on those two guys. See if you're starting them. Nobody else for San Francisco. Just those two guys are worth start consideration in this game. And obviously, with their injury issues of late, you, it's a risk. So Sunday morning, you'll be figuring out what your lineup is if you're relying on one of those guys. Um, start the Packers' defense. San Francisco's defense will still get to Rodgers. They're still going to get sacks. They're still probably going to get a turnover or two. Um, but they're going to get points scored against them. They're probably still start-worthy because there's not a lot of good point-scoring defenses out there. But the Packers are the defense to have in this game for sure. Um, as far as the passing game for the Packers, it's going to be helter-skelter. You're not going to be able to pin down a particular person that is going to be the go-to. Um, they're just going to have to make some magic with play calling in order to get whoever open. So that's not really the best kind of game plan to talk about for a consistent receiving target to go after. Um, so you're putting Devontae Adams and, um, oh, Valdez Scantling out there, assuming that one of them is going to go off. Uh, that That's really it. You know, I, I don't expect um, a dominant offensive performance from the Packers, so it's going to be a coin flip for pass receivers. But Aaron Jones is the consistent back. Um, they use him as a receiver and a runner. So he's a good play. Um, but yeah, you're really rolling the dice with whatever Packers receiver you throw out there. Um, just Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Jones and the defense are the only guaranteed starts. Everybody else is kind of a coin flip. Um, check out the rest of my videos for more fantasy football advice. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, guys.